Good morning, everybody. Uh, we have a slider for the lights. I know it's one of my favorite features of the apartment. See that? It slides up and down. It controls the brightness. And I really like it at night because I'm like, what if I don't want it to bright? You know, I can just tune it down then. Today's the first day of school. Technically, it should be the first week of school, but school for NYU, I guess, they start on a Thursday and it, you know, it ends on a Friday, obviously. But I don't have classes on Friday. So I guess this is only the first day. I can't really call it the first week if I'm only gonna be there for a day. Here we have our breakfast. Oh, very nice. We have a bowl of cereal, a slice of toast, and a cup of orange plus banana plus apple juice from Trader Joe's. Yeah, I've been trying to utilize Trader Joe's a lot because it's hilariously cheap. Did you know that? Surprisingly, I had a pretty good sleep. I'm not gonna lie, I slept at one. I don't know why, I was watching a lot of YouTube actually. It just happens so that you find the interesting stuff after midnight. So I really wanted to sleep at midnight, but it turns out YouTube algorithm was like, nope, <laughs> you shall not sleep. But I managed to wake up at eight. And it was actually a pretty good one. I don't know how, but uh, I kept waking up in the middle of the night. And uh, right now it is 8.35. I've been planning to go out latest at nine, preferably between 8.50 and 8.55, given that today is a first day. Uh, we live in Koreatown now, and it should only take us actually 15 minutes. God, my arms are kind of sore from yesterday. I was working out yesterday, like as usual. I've been doing it every day since for the past like five to six days. Yesterday, I did a lot more arms than usual, and it hurt yesterday, especially my left. My right is like completely fine. It's just my left, I don't know why. Today is syllabus day. You know how first classes go. Today we do have three classes, advanced corporate finance, or advanced managerial accounting, financial statement analysis, not necessarily in that order. First day of class, I guess it's gonna be very easy. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we do need masks in the school still. Wow, that's kind of a bummer. All right, I'm back from school, and I also did a workout at the gym, which is upstairs. Yeah, so I'm trying to live a very, very productive lifestyle. Right now, I am going to eat dinner. And actually, the reason why I'm eating dinner now, it's like seven, close to 30 right now, uh, I want to work out before I eat dinner because, you know, it doesn't upset my stomach. Today, we're gonna try our first frozen food of this junior year, yeah. It's called pasta bolognese, or however you pronounce that, and it's vegan. Now, if you know something about me, I'm not really a huge fan of vegan food, but this was the only choice I had. Have a look at the little ice that I have in my orange banana apple juice here. It's a little ice cube tray, a very little one. So it makes these very little ice cubes, which it's advertised to make it cooler, the drink cooler faster, and it's obviously holding up. One question you might ask me is, Andrew, how was the first day of school? Well, let me tell you. Uh, first day, obviously, it's not supposed to be bad. Except, oh my God, my first class was something called Advanced Corporate Finance, right? And I thought it'd be like a chill, like introductory lecture session where we just go over the syllabus for like half an hour to 45 minutes. And then after that, we just like, you know, talk about some, some, some easy going, very chill uh, session of corporate finance. But no, he just decided to go uh, throw a lot of lingo at me. And uh, I had a lot of trouble understanding because, you know, after like a hundred days of summer break, you just, your mind can't just automatically go back into school mode. So yeah, it was, uh, it was very challenging, really. The other two classes I had were FSA, or Financial Statement Analysis, and also something called uh, Advanced Managerial 
accounting. Those classes weren't bad. They were more like the chill sessions I was kind of expecting and hoping from corporate finance. I can't believe the first day of school we had three classes. I don't think I showed the, the third class in the video, but that was because I, I was busy doing stuff. You know? And you know what sucks? Is that uh, my second class ends at 12.15. And my third class starts at 3.30, and I had nothing really to do uh, around campus. So next time, I might just come back to the apartment and just chill for like three hours, or at least two and a half hours. I feel like that's the most productive way to spend time. Or in any case, I guess stay at campus to use some dining dollars and have lunch. Either way works for me. Okay, I'm ready to eat. The pasta, just a friendly reminder, this is from Trader Joe's, and this will determine whether or not I will ever buy vegan meat ever in my life again. Yeah, visually, that looks pretty fine. Mmm, that is a bit cold. There, now I can see the steaming. Yeah, it's better than before, but it's still not like hot. Oh my god, I'm gonna give it 30 more seconds. Never mind, that was one full minute. Now it should be hot enough to like burn my tongue if it needs to. Yeah, that's more like it. They should change the packaging to like six to seven minutes instead of four to five. Honestly, if someone fed me this without telling me that it was vegan meat, I would 100% believe it was meat. I've heard of stories like this where people are like, yeah, vegan meat tastes so much like real meat now. I'm like, yeah, right. Like, cause like long ago, back in like, we're talking like 2015 to 16, when I tried vegan meat, it was terrible. It just, the texture did not feel like meat. I had plant-based meatballs and they were just like, green and like too soft. This though, this actually tastes like meat. I'm actually very, very surprised. Trader Joe's, they're doing a good job. I should buy more from their stock, their warehouse. What the fuck? They give me so much, what the heck? They give me so much boba. Oh my god, that's like half the cup. So I got some bubble tea. Tasted pretty good. I'm still like halfway through it. And I thought it'd be cool if I just sat at the bed, watch YouTube, read a book, do whatever. I know, I'm reading books now. Can you believe that? And just take a four day weekend because it's Labor Day weekend. You have Friday off tomorrow because no class. Saturday, Sunday, obvious weekends. And Monday, oh, four day weekend. Yeah, I know this is the upside to uh, NYU's first week. So yeah, I guess that's gonna conclude this vlog. Oh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, there will definitely be more vlogs to come because I am living alone. Hopefully there's time to edit stuff and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in future videos. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.